Hello, welcome back to the channel. So I am in full blown planning mode now for Waterloo Epic Battles. It's pretty cool, it's inspired me to get more of my Mechs of War stuff painted and I still wanna get Antietam on the table before the end of the year. So I've just done a video looking at the French cavalry boxes and what you get on the sprues and how it's gonna get used. So this is a video about the British cavalry boxes and how I plan to use those, what you get on the sprues, etc. So I did mention it in the French one, so the, the cards I've got in front of me for uniforms, I'm not techno savvy, I've not got round to working out how to get like an audio track on a, on a video once we catch off the pictures, but I did want to show some pictures around and just be speaking to the camera again. So these are cards from Eagles, Waterloo 1815, so this was a complete card set I got, I got Eagles by Columbia Games and this tells me this came out in 1997 I've got it when it first came out so that's making me feel uh, a bit older than I thought I was but anyway we can't do anything about getting older we can just enjoy the the wargaming time we've got anyway back on the farm so British Cavalry so start talking about light cavalry so the Warlord Games website talks about being able to make five Light Dragoon bases, three Hazard bases and uh, with Shackles and three Hazard bases with Busbies. So if I do my maths correctly, that comes to 25 plus 15 is 30, 40, 45 figures. Now the sprue looks like you get 21 bases in the unit. So it does give you some extra, extra figures on the sprues. And I think, I think Miniature Realms, do check out the video, got the British Light Cavalry sprue. So maybe he's, we get some confirmation about the breakdown of the sprues. But from looking at the sprues, I think you're going to get five Hazards with Shaco, five Hazards with Busby, ten Light Dragoons. There looks to be an eleventh figure, could be a Light Dragoon, up near the cavalry, uh, sorry, the artillery. But straight away, you're going to get some spares. Now, what am I going to do with the spares? Well, my plan is to do take a general army approach to having a high command with ADCs. Each turn, I'm going to roll for a number of ADCs. They're going to be assigned to the brigade commanders before the turn starts. There might be some modifications there, depending on how far away they are. So it might might take two to to get one reroll. Uh, the, the individual models, they'll be mounted on individual bases to represent the ADCs. And actually my high command and my brigade command is there'll be two miniatures on each base there. So these spares, they, they will come in handy. And actually here you can see in the cards some of the, some of the differences in uniforms. So you like to tend to have quite a plain uniform and... Even the difference between the Belgian Dragoons, that's just all in the paint job. Quite easy to do, whether we get lacing or not. Again, Brunswickers, and there, there is a unit of Brunswickers, uh, like Cavalry, I'll be representing. Again, I'll be looking for the uniform with the most lace and converting over. So you see, that's basically just a similar sort of paint job. Busbies again the KGL units I'm going to tend to have represented with Busbies or the Hussars with the Shackles so quite simple with those so again if you wanted something slightly different with these guys you had some French spare chasseurs you could maybe use French spare chasseurs it looks like that I know these these are artists impressions of, of their own research and might not be words historically accurate it's going to be there or thereabout. The um, Cumberland Hussars, Duke of Cumberland Hussars, was actually a German unit in British service. And actually, that was a massive unit at Waterloo. I think that was seven, 800 men strong, which was quite large for a cavalry unit. But it wasn't particularly good. So that is the, the British light cavalry. Now, the British heavy cavalry... So the British Heavy Cavalry actually had three Heavy Cavalry Brigades. There was a Union Brigade, which I think had a, an English, a Scottish and an Irish unit. Scottish being the Scots Greys, 
I think the Irish were Inniskillen, Inniskillen Dragoons. I'm not sure. Uh, Scottish Guards were actually the North Britain Dragoons. I'm not sure what the British unit was. Uh, so the English unit was. You also had the Household Brigade. So sort of comprised in the lifeguards. And you also had a Dutch-Belgian Heavy Brigade. So these units are quite easy. Made up with the sprues. I think Heavy Dragoons you're going to get six bases of heavy dragoons, three bases of household cavalry, and two bases of Scots Grays. So that's 10, 45, 55 figures. So again, you're going to get another five figures spare based on the, on the sprue layout. don't know quite why Waller didn't go with straight five, multiples of five on the bases. I'm not privy to that in, information. But certainly, you, I'll be able to use the extras. Now, with the... With the Dutch unit, so each one of these brigades were actually made up of three units. So the Dutch one, Dutch-Belgian one, was made up of the Belgian Carabineers and two units of Dutch Carabineers. Now I'm going to be, because it's a fairly easy conversion, I'm going to be taking some of the French heavy cavalry and doing a head swap. So I'm going to be taking, I've done this with my 28mm models as well. I've got to paint them up, that's why they're not on the video. So I'm going to be taking Cabernet heads. I see the same style helmet, I think that's called a Greco helmet. And I'm going to be putting them on Dragoon bodies. Now, I've seen the the, the Belgian Cabernet with the kind of same facings as, as, the, as the Dutch there, as the Dragoons there. So I think that would be quite a, a cool wee... Belgian conversion there and what we'll have then is because I'm going to be when I do Waterloo when I do different battles it'll be individual units representing individual battalions when I recreate Waterloo which I'm going to aim for the 18th of June 2022 get some friends over and do Waterloo got a couple of other friends buying into this so it, it, sh it should be quite easy to, to get done and on the tabletop but when I, when I fight Waterloo, I'm only going to need three units of heavy cavalry. So I'll do a heavy dragoon unit, which will have one base of Scots Grays, two gears of regular heavy dragoons. Then I will have a lifeguard unit. And I will have a Dutch Belgian unit, which will just be made of, of these guys. So that is going to be my British cavalry, which. I am looking forward to doing cavalry. I do like painting cavalry. What, what I tend to do with my painting plans is I'll paint maybe three or six units of infantry, then I'll reward myself with painting some of the cavalry units. I just love the cavalry uniforms. And actually, what I was reminded of when I was going through and checking some stuff is in the black powder rule book. So I mentioned a bit about the scenarios we'd be playing. Now, in the Black Powder rule book, there's a really smart scenario called The Eve of Waterloo, which is all about cavalry fighting cavalry. So, what happened was after Catabra, Wellington started retreating to Waterloo. This is a British video, so I'll call it Waterloo, I'll call it Mont Saint Jean in the, in the French one. And the French had cavalry as a rear guard, and the British had cavalry as a vanguard pursuing. So there's two ways you can play the scenario, but it is just a cavalry uh, battle. So you could just take a heavy brigade, a light brigade, and a horse artillery brigade on each side. And there's actually some rules about throwing in some infantry if you wanted to. But I, I wouldn't just keep the cavalry. Or you can take the historical orders of battle. Uh, so if the British, for example, is the Household Brigade, the Union Brigade, uh, Third Light Brigade, Dragoons, Fourth Light Brigade, Dragoons, Fifth Brigade, Hussars, Sixth Brigade, Hussars, Seventh Brigade, Mixed, and some Horse Artillery. And the French have got a Guard Light Cavalry Division, uh, Heavy Cavalry Guard, Light Cavalry 
cuirassiers. It's basically all your cavalry thrown on the table fighting a battle. And I think that would be really exciting to do. Certainly with Black Powder, I've always tended to focus on infantry. Obviously, Americans of War, loads of infantry battles. Waterloo, uh, sorry, Black Powder in 28. The sort of scale we play it on on, the, on, on, a, kitchen, on a standard 6x4 table tend to be the infantry action. So French columns trying to break an infantry line rather than taking the whole battle. So cavalry hangs around, maybe he's trying to force some squares, but the main bulk of the that warfare that we've certainly recreated so far tend to be infantry on infantry. So I think it would be really interesting and a bit of a joy to recreate this battle. And like you say, my, my plan is to get an army, army box set uh, for the British, certainly light cavalry brigade extra on top of that. I think they I'll be able to do all the heavy cavalry I need with, with the heavy cavalry that comes in the box set. But certainly it'll give me something really interesting to play out with this cavalry. But anyway, that's my thoughts on the on the boxes. Like see if I had one question the warlord is like why didn't you just quite round up the numbers of cavalry on this, on each through to five? So we didn't have those extras. But I am also quite pleased that we've got extras. What 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 a time to live in, eh? Um but anyway, I'm looking forward to getting hold of my sprues. I've got my copy of War Games Illustrated ordered. I've got two copies from different places. So hopefully I'll end up with a blue and a red. And I can start painting and showing off some of those conversions I've talked about. Uh, other than that, I'm having a great time wargaming at the moment. Like I say, battling through some mechs of a war. So I can get Antietam on the table. Which I'll, I think I'll, I'll do a, a battle report for. I've talked about it enough, so why, why not? even if it's just a, a nice wee reference for myself. But I hope you're having a great time wargaming. I'm looking forward to talking to you in the next video. So that's goodbye for now. Goodbye.